Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate user scraper on LinkedIn through Socinator. If you want to search, filter, and scrape targeted users on LinkedIn, then Socinator can help you out. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your LinkedIn account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on LinkedIn through Socinator. Let's scroll to the right and click User Scraper. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to scrape LinkedIn users within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for User Scraper activity. Let's begin with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to scrape. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the user. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have selected your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For Keyword, the software searches for users from LinkedIn with the entered keywords. So let's say we're searching for developer, for example. Click Add. So this will target LinkedIn users whose profiles contain this keyword. Next, we have Profile URL. For this one, we need a specific LinkedIn profile. So let's say you searched for developer. So let's select people because we're targeting LinkedIn users. Let's say this one, for example. Copy the profile URL and paste it in the query box. Click Add. So this will target this specific LinkedIn user. Next, we have Search URL. So for this one, we need to search something on LinkedIn. Let's say we searched for developer, for example. So make sure you're targeting people because we're trying to scrape LinkedIn users. Copy the search URL here, paste it in the query box, and click Add. So this will target the LinkedIn users who appeared in the search result and scrape them. Next, we have only first connection. So for this, we need to type open bracket, own, then close bracket. Then click Add. And this will target your own first connections on LinkedIn. Finally, we have joined group URL. So we need a specific LinkedIn group for this one. So let's say this particular LinkedIn group, digital marketing, copy the group URL and paste it here. Click Add. So this will target the members of this specific LinkedIn group and scrape them. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to remove the second one, click it, and it's gone. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should scrape users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 125, medium with 250, fast with 416, or super fast with 583. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, Click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each LinkedIn user is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after scraping the number of users you set in number of scraping per job. Number of scraping per job will allow you to specify the number of LinkedIn users you want to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number 
until it reaches another custom number of max scrape. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure. Monday, for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click Add Interval, and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., click Add Interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it LinkedIn User Scraper. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing LinkedIn User Scraper. The next tool is Other Configurations. With this one, you have the option to either scrape after visiting or scrape without visiting. Let's choose the second one. Next, we have User Filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to scrape on LinkedIn. Check the first one if you want to target those who have profile pictures. Check the second one if you want to target those who have at least 500 connections. Check the third one if you want to target those who have enabled advanced bio and skills. The next one will allow you to specify the minimum number of characters in the bio of the profiles you want to scrape. Next, we have must contain specific words. These are the words that should be in the bio description of the users you want to scrape. Let's say expert for example type it in this area you may click this button to clear and it's gone you may also click this button to import from csv or text file select the right file and click open when you're done click save the next one is the opposite of the previous one must not contain specific words so these are the words that should not be in the bio description let's say you don't want to target developers then type it in this area Again, you may clear or import using these buttons and then click save when you're done. The next one will allow you to specify the minimum number of skills. Then check the following if you want to target those who have experience and education details. The last configuration category is manage blacklisted users. Blacklisted users are the LinkedIn profiles you do not want Socinator to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not scrape blacklisted users when this box is checked. So this can either be a private blacklist, which belongs to a specific LinkedIn account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping users on LinkedIn, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. To view the users you have scraped, click the Reports button over here. Now, let me show you another option in automating user scraper on LinkedIn through Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the Social drop-down button and select LinkedIn. This will take us to the Accounts tab. Let's switch to the Scraper tab and select User Scraper on the left side of the app. Here, we can name our campaign. Let's call it LinkedIn User Scraper. For Search Query, let's select Keyword for our query type and type Developer on the Query box. Click Add. For Job Configuration, let's select Slow. For Other Configurations, let's select Scrape after visiting. For User Filters, let's check Must Have Profile Picture, Must Have 500 Plus Connections, and experience and education details. Finally, let's skip blacklisted users, private blacklist. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple LinkedIn accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our LinkedIn User Scraper campaign. Click the Status button to pause the campaign and the Action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, 
or delete the campaign. To view the users you have scraped, click Report over here. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.